What's up, everybody? Uh, Eric Stark here doing another test. So here's the test. Does the Homeline arc fault circuit interrupter made by Square D actually work? So in order before we test this, we gotta understand how these things are supposed to work. Uh, arc detection is something that's been in the code book for quite some time now. Originally, they were only put in for bedrooms in residences, but now they've been spread out in the 2020 code book all 15 20 amp single phase circuits in a residence uh, have to be arc fault protected um, this is particularly important because it costs the homeowner a, a lot more money to buy a bunch of these circuit breakers than it does the regular circuit breakers but the point being is the arc fault circuit protection is supposed to afford you more protection in the event of some sort of arcing that might go on with the equipment or something in your wire terminal uh, from point A to point B and obviously if we've got sparks and arcs and walls that may cause a fire and we certainly don't want that so it seems like this would be the greatest thing in the world to help prevent fires. I opened this thing up brand new out of the box because this is the third test I've done and so far none of these have worked so I figured I'd open up another brand new one and you can see here it says it's a combination type. Uh, it's supposed to detect both series and parallel arcs we're going to put it to the test and right now I already know it doesn't work so I'm going to take this thing and just chuck it on the ground and we're going to come over here and I'll show you what I got wired in here so right now my circuit breaker is wired in my branch circuit is tied in as it should be the ungrounded circuit conductor is tied in to the brass screw as it should be the grounded circuit conductor or neutral is tied into the neutral screw and the swirly neutral wire that comes attached to the breaker is tied onto the neutral bus as it should be. This branch circuit leaves the panel and it kind of comes down over into this little setup that I got as an experiment. And this setup is set up in a couple different ways. I've got a small load with just a light, with a lamp and a light and a switch, and I've got a bigger load. So first thing we're gonna do is turn this thing on and I'm going to try to simulate an arc as I turn the light on and notice the light's going to come on as I touch it. I know I'm on the neutral side of it, but I'm doing both tests. So if you really look, there's a little bit of an arc that's going on in there. And so far my breaker hasn't tripped. Let's go to the next spot, which is more evident down here. I have a 15 amp uh, PVC hot box. So it's a quite a big of a load here. And I'm going to take this and just look at the sparking, right? So just to, if you're not electrically inclined, as long as this thing is sparking, that means the breaker hasn't tripped yet. So my question is, and I don't care how you try to answer this, is why is this thing that's supposed to give us the protection we need not tripping the circuit breaker with an arc and a spark that's as large as this? I've had some people say it's not that type of arc that it detects. Well, look, if I'm a homeowner and I see this going on behind my wall, don't you think you want that $40, $50 circuit breaker to trip? I do. So there's no shenanigans here. This thing's wired in as it should be. Keep in mind, I do tests on this just to make sure that things work. I'm telling you, if I'm a homeowner and if I'm being sold these breakers, I don't feel safe. Let me know how you feel. Thanks.